Okay, hello once again from the Tin Men. What have we got here? Well, as you know, with me by now, well, I'm not long finished making one modification and improvement, and I'm straight on to the next one. This one was a bit of a big jump forwards, and it started from my little window motor over there, which has been running for well, 36 odd hours now on the same battery, and it hasn't dropped in voltage at all, not even 0 0.01 of a volt still sitting on 4.03, 4.04 where it started I've just set another microwave oven coil on the top which is currently driving this 24 volt neon and the charge battery on it is fully charged but I'm just going to leave it see what happens um, right back to this like I said this half is our standard SSG circuit by filler coil. I haven't tried it with my layered coils yet. Um, don't know how they're going to perform, but I will be trying it probably tomorrow. See how it performs with that and update you on that. What I've done here is I've used the transistor to switch the trigger coil. Um, so in other words, the trigger coil's open as the magnet approaches, sends power into the transistor and completes the circuit for the trigger's coil, which in turn fires the transistor for our run coil. The thing we haven't been doing is looking at collecting the back EMF from the trigger coil, which is exactly what I'm doing here. I will post a schematic for it on the forum after this video. Um, that's it right there all drawn up, ready to go. So we've got our little neon here for our run coil of course. And we've also got our 110 volt neon here on the trigger coil which I've set up to catch the back EMF from the trigger coil the same as you would from the run coil. So if we disconnect these two for a very short period of time you can see both neons lighting up. That green one is the back EMF from the trigger coil, as you can see. And when you disconnect it, it increases the back EMF from the run coil as well. So the other good thing about this, at the moment we're putting 88 milliamps at 12.41 volts in. Now the trigger coil's charging the run battery at 38 milliamps of course at the same voltage and our charge battery is being charged at 33 milliamps at 12.24 volts uh, this hasn't the run battery hasn't gone down in the last two hours it was on 12.41 12.42 it's maybe gone down 0.01 of a volt the run battery uh, the charge battery has gone up from 12.13 to 12.23 in that time. So if we add these two up, we're only probably using about 10 milliamps to drive this system at the moment. So that's not too bad. So that's what we're doing now. We're catching the back EMF from the trigger coil as well as from the run coil. So I'll stick that on the forum. Uh, straight after I finish video of course and however long YouTube takes to load it up I'll also post the schematic for it underneath the video which is in the SSG tunes and improvements on the pulse motor section of the TEEP forum so switch on over and have a look what we've come up with now doing a very nice job. Till next time.